okay good work sir yeah just stop your screen okay i i have stopped your screen yeah now i'm sharing my screen here mm, yeah can you see my screen yes sir oh, all right so we have uh, learned on the playing the text in the last lecture okay so what about the playing the text it means that you have to play with the text you have given the text and you have to implement the different variation to the text okay you have you have to add different variation to the text like text color decoration font families styling alignments and other effects okay so we have to learn about the uh, different things into the this chapter okay so in this uh, meanwhile we uh, yeah so tina sir do you have a uh, uh, visual studio code have you uh, downloaded the visual studio code this code yes, sir sorry this code you are asking uh, anita do you have visual studio i have yeah great so uh, sinna sir there is a visual studio code editor visual studio code editor you have to search this in the google and download this visual studio code and you have to work the you have to uh, like coding in into this editor okay not notepad or notepad plus plus you have to work in a visual studio code which is a uh, very advanced uh, editor from the notepad okay so this is the visual studio code okay can you see this this is visual studio code so i am just opening other folder here yeah, yeah. yeah so can you just see my my screen have you seen this editor earlier so, yes sir ha uh, so this is this is the visual code visual studio code editor okay you have to use this visual studio code editor for the coding okay so this is the best editor now yeah so suppose i have written a h1 can you uh, mute yourself sinha sir okay welcome to the learn coach suppose this is my text okay now i have to give up different color variations and all okay suppose i need to give a background color so i will just write a style sheet okay uh suppose here i am using a style sheet ha, what what why we use style sheet why how the style sheet is using css we will learn later first we will just introduce the some styling here background a color equals to yellow so not we we will not write up name we will write it and we have to write some inline css here style color equals to red so this is your red so we will not write a name we will write color code hexadecimal code and i will save here okay now you will see what the output here okay yes can you see this we can color the text okay we can color the text so we can this is your left alignment correct now we have to make a uh, text into the center so what css we will use web style 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 correct so i will use css here h1 okay and write some css text align center yeah this is your text which is in the center okay 
Ditya, can you uh, are you uh, getting my point? Yes. Correct. So if you want to make a center into the text, so you can uh, just write text line center. If you want this uh, text into the right side, you can just write a text line. Right and save it. This is your right line. Okay. Now, if you want to make a text line left, you can just write left. So your text will be left. Okay. So this is all about the text alignment. Now, and this is all about the text color. So th th there are three ways you can give a color: name, hexadecimal value, and by using RGB value. RGB means red, green, and blue. the color combination of red green and blue you will get the these values so these value is up to the from start from the 0 to 255 okay so 0 0 is a initial value and 255 is a higher value okay after the 255 it will not it will not count and or it will not work it will work but it will count as a 255 if you have uh, written here 256 then it will count 255 not 256 okay it will take 255 only not 256 okay so rgb value is from 0 to 255 that's it 000 is black color 255 255 255 all three 255 values is color white okay so white. just i will show you here suppose your text color is rgb Okay, RGB two fifty five two fifty five comma two fifty five. Okay, now now I will save here and you will see the color. Can you see this color? The color will be white. Okay, now if you want some change color. you can just write 40 save it it will be blue okay suppose i want to use this 89 you can use this sub different color code you can use it okay welcome to the learn coach this is all about the text color and the text alignment we alignment we have seen you can just move the move your text from left to the right this is left this is center and this is right you can you can write a css for the alignment text align okay so now this is all about the color you can write as it is like and this is about the text color and this is about all about the background color you can write the property background and the this is the value that's it very simple okay uh, we have uh, we have write a css into the into the style tag there is a style tag and there is a internal css okay we will learn later but now for now you can just learn how can you give a color or background color or maybe alignment to the text okay now this is all about the text alignment and color okay so there are the three ways you can just write the text alignment center left and right okay now text decoration what about the text decoration property text decoration in the sense if you have the some linking to the learn coach okay if you have a uh, word learn coach and you have to give on a link to the this word and you don't want to change the color of the learn coach you want to give a same color of to the learn coach okay so that time you can change the color and and the uh, text decoration none okay so i will give up small demo here suppose anchor tag i have written for the linking a h r e f equals to double quotes and there is a hyperlink https colon slash slash www dot learn coach dot com and then this learn coach dot learn coach word will be inside to the this anchor tag okay this anchor tag and i will save here so the color of this anchor tag will be change here 
now we have we want this color to this also so what we will do, uh, we will do style tag we will copy here and we will paste here also okay and then i will save here okay this is done now you don't want this underline to the uh, this learn coach so what type of attribute view will this is a declaration okay this is declaration so again you have to write a one declaration more text decoration none and you will remove your underline clear sina sir clear nithya clear sorry nithya any any doubt here sorry i can i can't hear you I can't hear you, Nitya. Can you just mute your unmute yourself? Sinha sir, can you? Uh... No, I can't hear you, Nitya. I have no doubt. Sorry. Have you understand, Nitya? Yes, sir. Okay, Sina sir, have have you understand this? Sorry. Hello. Yeah. Are you getting? Can you hear me, sir? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Are you getting this? How we have done the how we remove the underline from the linking? Yeah, the text decoration. Correct, correct. This is yeah. There you are. Okay. So we have write a CSS text decoration none. then after if suppose someone wants to learn coach in different color you can just write other css okay uh, you can just write this css okay and make it learn coach yeah welcome to the learn coach now this is in red color everyone can understand this is a linking here because there is a some hand tool come to the h over come to the this see this is my cursor now if i go to the learn coach it will show the hand tool okay so there is a link it will understand everyone can understand there is a link on this okay when i click on this it will redirect to the website okay yeah. sina sir can you mute yourself okay so this is all about the text decoration yeah okay now we will learn here about the text transformation okay if suppose nitya you want learn coach in a upper case okay there is a three text transformation in you can use it upper case lower case capitalize okay so you can just write upper case lower case or capitalize so if i want a learn coach in upper case you can just write one css more text transform upper case now we'll save this see learn coach we na upper case okay if suppose you want lower case then it will lower case suppose you are you have write learn learn coach like this still you can show your learn coach in a small characters by using css text transformation learn uh, lower case if suppose i have written in a capitalize you can write is capitalize uh, just a minute guys okay so this is all about the capitalize suppose i have written a capital s here suppose i have write a learn coach here and now this is your yeah learn coach is like this 
okay so l is capital still you have written a l small here so you will you can see the l is capitalized here okay so this is all about the text transformation okay now we will learn there are some font family in a different from font family properties which is mean everyone have the different handwritings in a world okay there are few people who have the same handwriting but everyone have the different handwritings okay so suppose i need to write different uh, for a uh, font family to this characters welcome to the learn coach then i will just show the suppose uh, i will copy here okay and i will suppose write a font family in this okay and more css Oh, uh, Sina sir, can you see my screen? Oh, uh, Nitya, any 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 trouble in the call? Yes, sir, I had some network issue. Oh, okay, 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 sure, no problem. Okay, so this this is all about the uh, text transformation. Now we will learn different handwritings. Okay, so we. everyone have the different handwritings so like as we have the different uh, text formatings into the uh, we uh, website okay so suppose i want a different font family it means font family means uh, we you can show your text in a different formation okay in the in the different variations so i will just save here suppose i want i don't want this type of text transformation okay so i will use a different variation font family arial okay now see look at this here i will just replace this font family with this now yeah this is a very simple font font family can you see this so welcome to the clan coach now if i want to use other one this so i will copy this and just is this here yeah welcome to the learn coach and this is all about the okay <clears throat> so you can use the different variation of the text by using te font family okay now this is your assignment just go through and do your assignments uh yeah nitya have you done assessment one assessment i have done sir sorry one assessment i have done okay okay great great yeah so you have done right so where you okay extension of html document is both a and b html and htm you can save your file by using dot html and dot htm also okay so this is the answer both a and b okay now every every uh, question is correct yeah so uh, which of the following indicates smallest heading smallest heading is not h7 na nitya h6 h1 to h6 not h7 okay so we have only six head headings only h6 is very small and h1 is very big okay so yeah all the questions are correct good good work so i will create a assessment for you guys okay now we will move to the next chapter create a table html structure table okay yeah tables so have you seen tables what is tables have you seen the excel sheet and all nitya bbc na sir yes sir Sina sir, have you seen tables? Uh, Sina sir, you are on mute. Okay. Hello. Have you seen tables? Data. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Have you seen Excel sheet? In Excel sheet, there is a some 
कलेक्शन ऑफ रोज एंड कॉलम्स यस या सो व्हाई वी यूज टेबल्स एनी आइडिया टू अरेंज द डाटा टू अरेंज द डेटा करेक्ट नीता कैन यू टेल मी वन एग्जांपल एनी एनी एग्जांपल रिलेटेड टू द टेबल इफ यू हैव सीन एनी टेबल हेलो नित्या कैन यू टेल मी वन एग्जांपल एनी वन एग्जांपल स्टूडेंट्स एंड देयर एवरेज मार्क्स यस करेक्ट स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट रिजल्ट और स्टूडेंट मार्क्स एंड ऑल या दिस टाइप ऑफ डेटा यू कैन सी इन द टेबुलर फॉर्मेट ओके सो बाय यूजिंग टेबल यू हैव द रोस यू हैव द कॉलम्स यू हैव द हेडिंग्स यू हैव द डिफरेंट फॉर all right so <clears throat> there is a collection of rows and columns into the table and okay uh sina sir you no no need to join from the yeah. laptop now now we will learn here how to create a table okay so this is about yeah. the theory you can just uh, read and uh, just read it and uh, you will get the knowledge from the uh, from this content okay i will just go to the practical thing okay so this is about the table okay so how it look like this is about the coding so i will just <coughs> okay i will create a table small table here okay by using a table tag now this is about the table data this is about the table row okay so there is a table tag to create a table and there is a tr tag which is a first row and there is a tr again which is a second row and there is a two td which is a two column and again a two two tds which is a sec, uh, two more columns in a second row okay so i will just show here the output of this table okay so i will just save this yes can you see row 1 column 1 row 1 column 2 row 2 column 1 row 2 column 2 okay have you seen this guys so this is all about the rows and columns okay so now how we create a table with the heading okay so this is about the data this is the data okay so this is your data okay so just a minute yeah this is your data now this is your data so now we have to suppose create a th th means uh, suppose i have write a name and a city okay now, now i will write a akash and city is a suppose nagpur okay so i will save this so these data is very similar but i can't uh, i can't assume the where is the name and where is the city but there is a name and city is written in the this uh, format which is same to the data but i have i need that name and city want to wants in a heading it it will work as a heading so i will remove this both td and write th which is mean table heading now it is a bold and center okay see this is a bold and city is also bold and which is in a center now my data is correct now it will look like the tabular data okay yeah sina sir can you uh, mute yourself okay so this is all about the data now suppose if i want to create a border with this more so i will just recreate a border equal to 6 now your border is with this 
large okay width is increased suppose i have written a border equals to 10 you can just this is your border width increased okay so it it is incremented so border width is we want 4 then it will reduce okay so this is about the table heading table data and border okay understand nitya understand sina sir understand yes sir yeah any doubt nitya sina sir any doubt no sir so are you clearing yeah 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 all right so this is all about the table heading table heading you <coughs> want to write in a th tag okay suppose there is a name yeah. there is salary and there is a uh, data someone data so you can write also as a name and salary name this is and this is a salary that's it now next is sale padding and sale spacing so i will clearly show you here what is sale padding and sale spacing okay suppose i have written a sale padding and sale spacing in the table tag you have to write written in a, you have to write in a table tag okay sale space sale spacing equals to 10 okay and save it so this is the sale spacing okay this is the border out of out of the border this is a sale spacing now see sale sale padding equals to 10 now this is the inside the border you will get the 10 pixel of all the side okay inside top bottom right left and also this is a cell spacing and this is a cell padding okay uh, suppose i want to change the background color of the table i will write background or bg color equals to suppose this is red color but i need to uh, write some code here yeah this is a background color suppose uh, you want to write no yeah so this is the background color of the this table you can write it like a this okay understand okay. this is your cell spacing and this is your cell padding and suppose i want to white p d background color white i want a white yes p d and p h yes can you see this are you getting nitya are you getting yeah Nitya, Sina sir, are you getting? How can we just give a background color and how can we give a spacing to the this box yes, inside sir. and outside the box? This is cell spacing and this is cell padding. White color is in cell padding. Okay, I will show you. If suppose I have increased the cell spacing by twenty pixels, thirty pixels. it will like looking like this if i increase the 40 pixel more and this is a 10 yeah this is a your cell padding and smallest is cell spacing sina sir got it nitya got it yes sir nitya got it understood yes sir so this is all about the table okay now you have to write call span and row span suppose i have more than uh, not like that 20 pixel okay suppose yeah yeah now cell spacing i will like this yes okay and 6 yeah now suppose i want to write more columns so i will increase the more column city mobile and state okay now more data i need okay copy paste here i will 
reduce this okay yes one more data is more okay so this is mobile is like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and state is maharashtra okay and this is i saved up now i will create a more data here okay so yes now i will write, write a a b c nagpur same mobile number maharashtra i will save this this is my second row now i will write a x y z x y z different city like uh, delhi different mobile number and not maharashtra delhi okay now i will save here now this is the my data okay so uh, if i want to combine the data suppose these both row have the common common state maharashtra and maharashtra so i want to combine this both maharashtra in this both row in a single single uh, row so how can i achieve so i will write a i will write a row span okay i will write a row span to this box okay how so i will go to the first maharashtra which is this one so i will write a row span in a first td row span equals to 2 and in the second row i will comment this and yeah this is combined this is all about the row span clear any doubt sinna sir any doubt nitya no sir no. Nitya, any doubt? No, sir. Ha, uh, what I have done here, do, uh, are you getting? So this is all about the com combination. Now, suppose I have to combine Akash and Nagpur, both columns. Here you ha I have combined the both rows. Now I have to combine both columns. How can I achieve this? So I will achieve this by using this. I will write a for write a row call span equals to two in a first first column, and in the second column I will just comment here and save this. Okay. Now you are getting. Now you getting. Nitya getting. How I achieve these both columns and both rows? Can you do this by your own? Nitya, can you do this? I'll try to see. Okay, you can try. Okay. Sinasara, can you do this? Hello? Can you hear me, Sina, sir? Hello? Hello. Uh, can you do this? How can you uh, com combine the two rows? How can you combine the both columns? Uh, uh, all is fancy. Uh, sorry, you can just uh, okay mute us. Uh -huh. Now, can you do this? Can you tell me? Yeah, with the help of call span, no? Yes, we have the call span into the call. both columns and we have the row span in the book for the both rows. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay? So, this is all about the call span and row span. Okay? How can you combine it? Okay? This is your best example. You can just copy and paste here code and try this ones in a different ways. Okay? You can use the different ways. Okay? Right. For the rest of the table things we will learn in the next lecture. Okay? Right. Till then, please practice on this. Whatever we have learned, whatever we have done into the past three lectures, past four five lectures, and now we have started for the table. Okay. So please work on it and show me your work. Okay, Nithya. Next time, please show me the your work. Okay. Yes. Sir.
ओके सीना सर नेक्स्ट टाइम प्लीज शो मी योर वर्क राइट सर ऑल राइट ओके